In one way or another, you're going to encounter missing values in your data. In a previous video, I showed you how you can find missing values in your data. But let's take a look at, once you find them, how you can deal with them. Missing values can occur in many different ways. They can be NAND values in the dataset. They can look like outliers. They might just be zeros or a value that looks out of place. What you do with missing values will depend on how important this piece of information is for your problem and how many missing values there are. If a column does not include a significant amount of missing values, you can remove the data points that include the missing values. The definition of significant here would depend on the amount of data points you have and the problem you are working on. If a column includes a lot of missing values and is not an important column for you, the best approach would be to remove the column itself. If a column has a lot of missing values but is also an important column in your model, you should try to recover as much information as possible. Here are some approaches. Assigning the most occurring value in the place of the missing values. You can be smarter and do this based on groups of data points. For example, if the color corresponding to the value bedroom is most commonly yellow, you can fill in yellow for missing values and green for others. Forward filling. With numerical values, you can order the values and fill in the missing values based on the value that comes before them. Or backward filling. Inversely, you can opt for filling the missing values with the value that comes after them. You might need to combine these methods in case of missing values being at the beginning or end of the dataset when ordered. Filling in the average is another approach. For that, you would need to fill the average value of this column on these missing values. Another approach is interpolating. For numerical values, after sorting them in a logical way, you can interpolate based on the values before and after to figure out what the values in between should be. Lastly, it might also be possible to train a whole new machine learning model to find out what the missing values should be, but most of the time it is not worth the time or the effort. So judge for yourself which approach to take, but don't forget that the ability to choose the correct approach also comes with experience. Whatever you decide to do, it would be good practice to note down and document your approach and stand by for any implications on the performance and the predictions of your model. After data cleaning comes the step of data preparation. Check out this video to learn more about the data preparation step for model training. And before you go, would you like me to show you how to implement these approaches that I talked about in this video in Pandas? Then comment below and let me know.